right, so let's go ahead and jump into the LR Trunks review. So, Mysterious Boy Trunks Team. This is the base form card that you're going to pull from any of the gotchas right now. He currently has his own, I guess you could call it featured banner. There's just a lot of SSRs on it. But he's actually a really good unit. Um, so, let's talk about him. Mysterious Boy Trunks Team. Leader skill is physical types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack is burning attack, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Declaration of the End, attack plus 80% at the start of the turn, rare chance for an attack to become a critical, and link skills are Royal Lineage, Cold Judgment, Messenger from the Future, Z Fighters, and Prepare for Battle. His max stats are HP of 6950, attack of 8637, and defense of 4389, and he has 140% 12 key multiplier. His super attack can actually be farmed real easily, in fact, from the Super Strike event, Future Hope Trunks Teen. He is from the Time Warrior Traveling, uh, the Time Traveling Warrior event. Um, so you can go over there, you can grab him. You could either do one of two things. Um, you could just Z awaken him to an SSR for 50% chance, or you can go and spend, I think it's like an extra four, it's four million Zenny total plus the awakening medals to get him to an ultra rare Doken Awaken, then get him to an ultra rare for a hundred percent shot. It's really up to you, it depends on how you want to do it. Um, I don't know how I feel about using the 50% chance on cards that I really want to get to Super Attack 10 only because it is a lot um, you, you, it's, a, it's RNG, 50% is RNG regardless no matter what your argument is it's still RNG, you could put 5 cards into him and still not get a Super Attack up I'd prefer have that 100% chance but that's just me um, you get up to Super Attack 10 and then you could use Elder Kai's if you want to do the rest of that because you're probably going to want to use dupes if you happen to pull some dupes um, in the dupe system but um, that's that. He Doken Awakens with seven of these uh, Super Saiyan Trunks me uh, Warrior Mark medals. You get those from the Hero Extermination Plan Evil Power Strike Back. And it's all the way down here on stage 22, Proud Bloodline. That's where you get the medals from. So you just get seven of them, and then you could Doken Awaken him. I'd still recommend getting him Super Deck 10 beforehand. When you do when he Doken Awakens, he Dokens into Startling Transformation, Super Saiyan Trunks Teen. Leader ability is a 70% leader for physical types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack burning attack causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises defense by 30% for three turns. Passive skill is attack plus 100% at the start of the turn. Medium chance for an attack to become a critical, which is really awesome. Link skills are Royal Lineage, Cold Judgment, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. So because he used those uh, Warriors Mark medals, he gets to Shattering the Limit link. Max stats are HP of 8188, Attack of 9663, and Defense of 5141. He Doken Awakens with 10 of each of the Super Strike medals that you see here. So King Cold, Mecha Frieza, which this is the physical one, I believe. Uh, Lord Chilled, and then the two Trunks, the one Xeno and the one Trunks that you actually had to farm the... Um, the strength type that I just talked about is a 12 key multiplier of 145%. Once you Doken Awaken him from this form, he Doken Awakens into his LR form, Super Saiyan Trunks of oh, Super Saiyan of the Future, Super Saiyan Trunks Teen. Leader ability is now the 90% leader as all the other types. So he finally wraps up the uh, attribute types in terms of leader skills. Physical type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Two super attacks, burning attack between 12 to 17 key and shining slash at 18 plus key. Causes colossal damage to the enemy and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns. And mega colossal, the same thing, raises defense by 30% for 3 turns. I think they should have added the mega colossal like they did on, I forgot which, which other card it was. When you hit mega colossal, they should have done either by 60% for 3 turns or done my 30% for six turns. I feel like that would have been a little bit smarter for them to do, but he is not a bad unit at all. That uh, that super attack, obviously, it's going to make him be more of a tank, so he's going to be tanking a lot more. Um, his passive skill is attack plus 120% at the start of turn. High chance for the attack to become a critical. That's a 50% chance, I believe. I watched a couple other videos, and I believe I saw it on a post somewhere. It's actually a 50% chance for that to become a critical. Um, I haven't double-checked that number, though, so don't hold me to that. That's still really cool. So if you have a 50% chance to be a critical and you're using a physical type, uh, I'm not going to tell you to make a, to use double attack, but you might want to choose going with double attacks uh, just because you already have that 50% chance of becoming a critical, and the criticals do not stack on top of each other. So if you choose critical all the time in the dupe system, um, if you get dupes of him, it's not going to stack on top of the 50%. You're going to have a double chance. So you're going to have your the, the, his passive skill to get the critical and then the dupe system chance to get a critical. So it's still te technically probability is higher of you getting a critical attack. Uh, that's up to you though if you want to do it that way. Link skills are Royal Lineage, Cold Judgment, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle, Legendary Power, and Shattering the Limit. Max stats are HP of 17,113, attack of 15,530, and defense of 9,656. Now uh, that, to me, kind of looks like it's his max base dupe system. 
I'm not 100% sure on that, but if that's his base stats, um, just, uh, you know, when he's at level 150, holy hell. Um, maximum super tax level 20, as, as always, 12 key multipliers 140%, 24 key multipliers 200%. Overall, not a bad unit. He only has one attack link that is super sane for 10%. So, because he is an LR, you're obviously going to want him to get the mega colossal damage. I'm not going to go over team building in this video, but I am going to talk about all the cards that he links very, very well with. Um, now, the ones that you're really going to want to worry about is Super Saiyan. Cold Judgment sucks on the, uh, the global side. It's only attack plus 300, so you don't need to worry about that. On the JP side, though, Cold Judgment turned into a 20% defense boost. So you can technically play towards that if you want to. It's not really necessary, especially with his super attack going off. And he already has an inherently high defense, so it's not like it's going to be a requirement. But overall, a really good card, a really good unit. Now, this is from the uh, DokenBattleBuilder.com. I got all of the really good Super units that link very well with them. The reason why I chose Super is the majority of it is because of the Super Saiyan link. That way he gets the attack buff. But look at this. Every single one of these guys over here is a really good unit. Um, now, technically, this guy right here, the Trunks, the Kid Trunks, and this Trunks are the two primary that the Reddit uh, post had stated to use on the primary team. Um, I'm going to go over that in a, little, in a different video in terms of team building, but these two are what it's talked about. I personally also like the Great Saiyan Man, but let's go ahead and talk about the link skills here. First off, this Trunks, if you have him, is going to be on your team. He's going to be your floater because of his passive skill. His passive skill, actually, let's go see what we get. There it is. Um, attack and defense plus 25% for all allies, so he becomes very useful on this team because he's giving everyone a buff. He's going to be more of a floater for you, but if you don't have anyone to link really well with this Trunks, he does hit off some good link skills. He gets um, two, four, five. 5 key and attack plus 10% up. So all the Super Saiyans give the attack plus 10% up. You're really looking for more of the key. Um, now this is the one that the Reddit had stated that you should go on to a primary team as his primary linking buddy. Um, I don't know how I feel about that because it's King's Bloodline and then you have Prepared for Battle and Breaking the Limit or Shocking Speed. Um, not Shocking Speed, um, uh, Shattering the Limit. So it's key plus 2, key plus 2, attack, uh, key plus 1, and attack plus 10%. Now personally, I would prefer the Great Saiyan Man over here in this instant. Um, just because, look at that, it's keep, uh, you have uh, Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. So those three, plus you get the 10%. Um, he has a 90% attack buff for on his passive skill, and the, the Trunks has 100%. But his 12 key multiplier is a 5% increase. The only difference is this Trunks links better with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and he gives him an additional 20% attack buff than this Gohan over here. So, take it for what you will. If you don't have this Trunks, I would definitely say that this is your primary unit. These two are definitely 100% swappable. You remember, you do have the 20% difference um, in terms of teams. Again, I will be going over that a little bit more in depth on a team building guide. Um, I like this Vegeta as well. He links very well with him. He gets the, uh, the key plus 5 and attack plus 10%. This Vegeta reduces the attack of the enemy by 40% when he's when he attacks an enemy. Overall, not a powerful unit, but he does have Supreme Damage. This is one of the OG Super Saiyan cards. He has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Overall, this isn't a bad unit. Um, if you can get him, if you have him, uh, I can recommend, I would recommend running him um, on a team that you are lacking good linking characters for this uh, LR Trunks. Just because he hits off 5 key, the Super Saiyan link, and he debuffs the enemy like crazy. I mean, think about that. A 40% attack debuff is really, really good good so the attacking enemy will not and it's not even specific to a type it's any enemy he attacks so you take that and you couple that with the lr trunks's inherent ability to increase his defense the enemy's not gonna be doing any damage to you at all so that's really good you have the xeno trunks i'm not gonna re recommend running him because he doesn't have the um uh what do you call it the uh the one attack buff uh, for Super Saiyan, but he does have the Cold Judgment, and he gives 5 key. So if you guys really have no linking characters to any of these guys, the Vegeta, this Trunks, this Trunks, you know, the, the, the future Trunks, uh, the Kid Trunks, or this Gohan, the Xeno Trunks can come into play, and he is farmable to Super Attack 10. He's not a hard-hitting unit, but he is an AoE, so that's 5 key at defense plus 20% on the JP side. Um, and then this Trunks over here, the future Trunks that I was talking about, key plus 5, attack plus 10% up, overall really good. He gives all of his... Uh, 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 allies attack plus uh, 25%, so overall he's not that bad. And this Trunks that uh, is the same, the Kid Trunks is the same as the other units. It's key plus 5, attack plus 10%, and he does 100% attack increase on his passive skill. Overall, these are his best linking characters that you could use. Um, this would, I would recommend for any team, either a super physical team or a mono physical team, if you're going to use LR Trunks as your leader. These are the cards that you're going to want to link directly with him. 
Um, I would recommend probably either this the kid trunks as your maybe as your primary. I think they he kind of ties though with the with the super with the great Saiyan man, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan man. Um, at that point, it really depends on what event you're going up against. If you're not going up against uh, like a really hard event and you just have multiple enemies, Xeno Trunks is definitely coming to play because then he can knock all of them out with his AoE. But I'm gonna put him all the way down here as a no-go. Um, and then this card right here. Uh, if you have someone else to link with him, he was definitely going to still want to be on your team just because he gives everyone attack buff. Um, really good re attack and defense. Really good, really reliable. But he would definitely be my number two choice after these two. Uh, maybe number three, however you want to really see it, just because of his uh, uh, linking skills and his uh, buff that he gives to LR Trunks. And then this Vegeta will come afterwards just because he doesn't hit hard, but he debuffs the enemy. Again, it really also does depend on what type of event you're going up against. This attack debuff is really, really useful on a, uh, on a physical team just because they already tank very well because they, you know, physical units overall tank better than other units in the game. It also really does depend on how you're playing. Again, I'm going to go over a team building guide at a later video. I just want to go over the card and his best linking buddies. So this is what what it is guys um lr trunks a really good unit overall i read a couple reddit posts about how useful he is and how in comparison to the other lrs him and lr gohan are actually probably the, some of the top two uh, not in terms of damage output though he does hit hard and he has an inherent crit ability but for an lr a legendary rare he's not broken but he's definitely um uh, i would say on equivalent par with a Doken exclusive character but thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later in the next video.